Welcome to the review of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and this was something that I pretty hesitant to make until Kuma convinced me to just say my thoughts about it. I've been a long time fan of Star Wars, and it's been a while since we've gotten a single player Star Wars game. So I'm going to let Kuma ask what he wants to know about the game. Because there, I have a lot of thoughts about it, and it's kind of a jumbled mess. Let him organize it for me. So my first question would be, what stood out in the game that impresses you from the very beginning? It's probably be the the visuals and just how detailed the world is. Because when you like the opening shots, have you looking at? Clone Wars era ships so you see them being dismantled and for anyone that's been a fan of Star Wars you start to see the transition from the prequel movie like era a kind of ships and just the government and everything like that and it's transitioning to the Empire where they're just dismantling everything the technology is changing and it's cool to see the the shift in the culture and the, how p people are at behaving and just the overall feeling of the galaxy, which is what I appreciated. Okay. So uh, touching up upon the lore, do you feel like it adds to the Star War franchise? I think in some small ways it does. And in others, it... It doesn't add enough because all this is is to fill in the blanks, right? Because this happens between two two eras in the Star Wars universe. Um, it's hard to say. I liked what they showed because you never had a a show or mainstream movie or anything like that depict what the events how it really changes people and how it affects the entire galaxy. So I liked how this painted a very distinct portrait of just how how messed up people can get if you just start like suddenly changing how from what like having a shift from one government to another and just suddenly start murdering people for no reason. So I appreciated those things. It wasn't afraid to show some pretty hard truths about the the universe for Star Wars because they usually it's usually a very subdued and very clean look. Like it's not gritty, it's not anything like that. It's a you know, it's what I was always growing up with. It's a fairy tale. And it's it's going to have those kinds of tropes, but it doesn't show anything that Kind of blurs the line like mo like morally and ethically okay so you enjoyed it what if someone that not really into star wars can they get into this like would the story be enough to like keep them engaged into this game i think there's a decent amount of hooks for someone to get into it if they're just not that into star wars there's also, for the gameplay, it has a little bit of everything. So it has a lot of aspects from very popular games like Uncharted, Tomb Raider, you know, the Soulsborne games. Uh, it has a Metroid Prime kind of map with the Metroidvania uh, exploration. So from those, what, five to six different kinds of games it's covering, it's bound to appeal to someone like someone for each part of that because you know not everyone's gonna like each like those games like all those games that i just mentioned but it incorporates them and blends them what together pretty well so you'll recognize what aspects they're pulling into this game and it works decently well i wouldn't say that they make it better than any of those individual games they drew inspiration from but it was a nice effort, and it made it for a pretty fun experience, gameplay-wise. Mm. 
So without spoiling, um, do you think there will be a DLC in, in the work or a sequel for this uh, new um, new entry? I could definitely see a sequel. Uh, Sales-wise, they've done very well. Uh, I know EA has bragged about it, even though they said they wouldn't do any of these, really. So it's funny to see that they go around on it and say, hey, this did super well, and I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to make another one. Uh, okay. Story-wise, it sets it up. Uh, not spoilingly, but I'm not surprised. I mean, they left it pretty open-ended. Not in a bad way. Which I was fine with the ending. So, um, so it's possible. So any advice for the sequel? Like, if uh, EA is listening in? I would say... Be more ambitious with the next game. This game played it pretty safe. For the most part, for story-wise and gameplay-wise. So it makes sense to the pedigree of Star Wars games. So most of them were third-person action games. So you have things like uh, Dark Forces 2, which was a kind of first-person shooter, but it started to stray from it. Um, Jedi Outcast, Jedi Academy, those were first-person. But it's it's hard to say. It's they could do a lot, and I don't mind them taking cues from other successful games, but I feel next time they should make their their branch of game their own without copying different successful games, which it's fine. The first, the first time, I, I could see they want to show people that they're capable of making a solid single-player Star Wars game that doesn't have multiplayer or anything like that. No microtransactions. I would say, don't put microtransactions, and don't put cosmetics. Don't put anything. Make it like this. Because the reward for this was you could find all the cosmetics in the world if you explore. And that reminds me of a time which I loved that you get rewarded for playing the game. And it feels like a long time since hell, an EA game like actually did that. Because with all the crap that Battlefront 2 had with the loot boxes and everything, this was a complete breath of fresh air. And I think it shows because of how, how many copies this game sold. So I want them to like take it to heart that, yes, there is still a market for these single-player games. And it should show them how much they wasted this license that they could have done so much more than just this sa honestly safe bet. Even though you're incorporating different parts of the game, you're not doing any of them amazingly well. If you're doing like a Souls-like experience for this, I'm going to play Dark Souls or Bloodborne over this any day because the mechanics are just better. I understand it's definitely easier so if anyone's not very good at it or are intimidated by those kinds of games, this game is a very good way to ease yourself into those kinds of things. And if you like it, you can check out the other Souls-like or Soulsborne game. So this is a very... I could see this being an introductory game to open up the path. If you're just starting out to play games, this could open up like to play all these other games I mentioned. Mm. So... um. What do you do recommend the viewers to play next if they want more Star War? There's a lot you could do. Uh, to name a few, you could play the Knights of the Old Republic. Those are, those are the best Star Wars RPG games. They're dated, sure, but they have good stories in it. I would recommend the, even the old Dark Forces. Dark Forces... Uh, Dark Forces 2? Jedi Academy, Jedi Outcast, those kinds of games. They're just, they're very, they're very good games. And I think you'd be missing out. There's, they made a lot of wide variety of, of games. They made like uh, RTS, which I don't think that many people played, but it's very good. 
you can play the old original Battlefront games, which it's still okay. So if you're just getting into Star Wars, this could be a good gateway. So it could launch you maybe check out these other things or Republic Commando, anything like that. There's a they experimented with a lot of different genres of games. And it could really open it up, and I strongly encourage you to check it out. If you are after you play this, you want to play more Star Wars, check out the their old classics. Okay. So wait, final question, just you know, put it out there. Recommend or don't recommend? I would recommend it. I think it's a solid game. It's the Force Awakens of the new Star Wars. Like it's it's trying to bring back the magic of Star Wars for people because they've had it's been a rocky last few years honestly for games and movies. So this is just a way to bring people back in. And I think it's a strong start. It needs to do more for the second one. If they start doing the same things again, I would be hard it would be a lot harder for me to recommend. At this point, I can recommend it. All right, I definitely got to check it out. You convinced me. <laughs> I'm getting it. 